Welcome to Before Floor, the pregame edition of Five on the Floor, brought to you by the Five Reasons Sports Network. I'm your host, Jonathan, a.k.a. Three Piece Combo. I'm joined by a couple of the smartest guys on the network, Mr. Marco underscore Romo and Mr. Timmy. Make sure you guys make sure you guys follow them on Twitter and uh, and show them some love. They've been here all season long. You know, as uh, as Heat fans, obviously, you can tune in and out of games. But these guys, you know, they come here, they cover these games, and it's a little bit harder because you got to suffer through the season with them. So, Make sure you guys make sure you guys show Marco love. Make sure you guys show Timmy love. Of course, Mateo, Gad, everybody else who's joined us throughout the season. Now, as always, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and make sure you guys hit up Mark Brown, PA. You know, of course, he does your estate planning, but he also is a financial uh, real estate lawyer, too. So if you have any problems or anything with that, especially in such a complex, complex field, right? The real estate market is so complex. He'll help take care of you. So make sure you go to markbrownpa.com. That's M-A-R-C brownpa.com. Uh, he'll give you a free consultation. Or you can even call 954-866-8513. Like I said, he'll take care of any estate planning or also, like I said, brand new. You're not new, but kind of a little more in the forefront now. He's also doing some real estate stuff, too. So make sure you hit up Mark Brown. Now, you guys know we do our prize picks every every single day. I don't have it in front of me right now, but you can use your promo code 5 to match your deposit up to $100. That way you maximize your money when you're doing your when you're doing your gambling, right? If you're going to mess with some money, you definitely want to make sure you're getting the most out of it. So use that promo code five. We'll give you a free hundred bucks. As long as you deposit a hundred bucks, that's $200 right there. That's 40 plays with $200. That's 20 free plays. Like I said, use that promo code five guys. Let's talk about, let's talk about tonight's game. And instead of talking about the game itself, we're going to get into a little bit of just like narrative stuff, just because it's been such a weird season. And these games have kind of become a little bit, they strung together, especially towards the end of the season with, us not winning um, key games, being in the play in, um, you know, different things there. So, Timmy, I'll throw this one to you. Um, looking at the Mavericks before we look at the Heat team, what, what went wrong with adding Kyrie Irving? Because obviously, you got two prolific talents offensively in Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. What kind of went wrong there adding him and just kind of and going backwards from there? So I don't think everyone's focusing on the adding Kyrie, but it's not really the adding. It's the who they gave up. They gave up DFS, who was kind of like the glue. He basically was their best front court player. I mean, you're being real. You know, if you call Luca a god, you, you give up your best uh, front court connector, defender, three-point shooter. Another team is just a bunch of centers and wing and, and wings. You you know, um they can't guard anybody, you know. And I mean everyone called it, you know, you they were struggling to defend as it was. <laughs> and then you give up your best defender. Um, Curry is saying all the right things, but at this point, I no longer believe that he stays. You know, like, I don't even care if he stays or not. Um, but the telling thing was um, Luca saying, I am no longer having fun. And I mean, yeah, it's the it's the, the, the end thing to say, just give me on Curry, but I don't think it's more of a Curry thing. It's more so that so many um, talents are, we know that Curry and Luca that, they they need the ball a lot, so so many talents are replicated. But also outside of that, you have Timmy Jr. You have um the rookie thing was um you have Josh Green putting up numbers, but Christian Wood should have maybe should have taken that that extension that he was offered in September because he's no longer looking like a a must have big man for eighty million dollars anymore. You know, like he, I think he played his cards the wrong way. He should have definitely taken that extension when it was on the table. I don't think it no longer is there. But basically, when you have Christian Wood, is basically a six eleven guard, Luca, Kyrie, Timmy Jr., and just McGee. McGee is basically the only person who who's long on on. on I mean, like Dry Paul is cool, Clay was cool, but he basically came back from a really bad injury mid season. You know, so take a while for him to even get back. I just think that the move was good, but it, it, you should have maybe gotten back another front cut player in that deal. Um, but I will say. I trust this team when I trust the Heat, especially with they just saying that Bomb is out just now. Bomb is not playing. So, yeah, you know, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, it's fine. It's like that meme when you're sitting in the building and everything's on fire around you. Exactly. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're a cultured man. But, uh, Marco, actually, before we came live, you were mentioning some parallels from the Heat season and the Maverick season looking from last year to this year and I think it was very interesting because sometimes as a fan of a team you're not maybe as able to see the perspective of other teams right or maybe see the ride that other teams are having and as detailed as you would see in your own team so kind of talk about those parallels that you saw from Miami and Dallas last season going into this season 
Yeah, it's a little easier for me uh, being in Texas and being like, I follow a lot of actual Mavs fans who have the exact same feelings about the Mavs as the Heat fans do about the Heat. Uh, the fall off of the defense is the number one thing. Heat were a top 10 D last year. Uh, the Mavs were a top 10 defense last year. I think they were seventh. Heat were like top five. And now this year, they're both bottom, like, uh, top bottom 10, I think, even worse than that. I think for uh, in terms of the Heat after the All Star break, mostly because they're still somehow top 10 in defense, which is fake as hell. Uh, I don't believe that at all. They're more of like the 24th best defense, which is what they are post All Star break. Uh, the Mavs have been a bottom 10 D all year, so even then, uh, you can look at the Mavs saying they even had a worse defense. Uh, which last year was they got, they got magic in a bottle, really. Uh, and so did the Heat in terms of their shooting. So the parallels of with the Heat shooting and with the Mavs uh, defensive, you know, year that they had, uh, they can't really. And also the Mavs and he both lost uh, glue guys. Like Timmy was pointing about DFS, even though DFS was there for half the year, he was bad for half the year. So they lost him, even though he was still there. He was just awful. And Maxi Kleber uh, was another glue guy they lost uh, for the half the year. But now that he's back, he's also been pretty bad, uh, which kind of stinks because he was so good whenever the Mavs were really bad. Uh, and also the parallels between just how much they they need another guy that can create, you know, off the dribble. They have Kyrie now, but it's it's hard to incorporate those kind of guys with like 20 games left. Uh, and the uh, Heat had all year to do that last year with Kyle Lowry, but this year they've pretty much found nobody. And, you know, it's been miserable for both teams. They both, you know, had higher aspirations after, you know, making the conference finals. So it's just been misery, misery on my timeline from, you know, both teams that I follow. Yeah, and uh, sorry about moving so much, guys. I'm not in my usual location. I'm in the car right now, and it's a little – Sunny, you know how that Florida sun is down here. And um, so normally we do we give you guys our prize picks. Um, but tonight I don't have my computer in front of me. So what we'll do, make sure you guys go to prizefix.com, use that promo code five, spell it out F I V E, match your initial deposit up to a hundred dollars. We're gonna get right into predictions tonight. Um, Timmy, I'll let you or actually Marco, since you got the second question, I'll let you start off predictions. Timmy, I'll let you close this out. I will point out the price one price picks thing. Uh, take the Tyler Hero over, especially with Ben being out. Take it now before that thing goes any higher than it is. Uh, but yeah, for predictions, man, it's this is a mid off of the century right here. This is uh, like the 2006 20, 2011 finals, but like way worse. So uh, and also the Heat and Mavs have two Hall of Famers going into the class this year, Dirk and Wade. So it's it's still another parallel. Uh, but I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with the Heat. I think. For as miserable as they are without Bam as well, I think they're going to do one of those stupid wins today. And honestly, there's something about it tonight that I, I just, it's just it just feels weird. It's probably going to be Jimmy going off. He loves playing at the, at home. His numbers on the road and on at home are really, really good either way. But at home, they're also like kind of insane. That has to do a lot with them playing a lot of home games after the All-Star break, though. But uh, I think I'm going to go with the Heat with a really dumb win of the year and nobody's going to like it anyway. And, but I honestly could see the Mavs blowing them out again. I was there for that game in Dallas where they blew them out by like the third quarter. It was done with uh, Luca just had his way with the team. Uh, I don't know how they're going to deal with it tonight. I do trust the Mavs a little more, but I don't know. I have a feeling that he's going to win a really dumb game and they're going to stay in that playing spot, which is hooray for everybody. We all love that. I mean, I think we'll talk about this maybe a game or two from now, but just keep this in our mind. Do you guys think this team should just kind of lose out at this point and maybe just get the best player you can add to the mix, right? Because obviously we don't know transaction-wise what this team is going to be able to do. We're limited with the players and the contracts we have with a lot of players just not being, you know, living up to that contract. So it's it's going to be an interesting offseason. And I know it's been joked around, and this team really won't ever really just tank, right? We'll never say they will. But I would definitely would not be opposed to getting four, five, six picks better just by losing out when you know maybe our, our ceiling is a second round out, in my opinion, you know? So, um, Timmy, close I think it makes It makes losing easier to swallow uh, at this point. I think you, you're you at the point where you're like, yeah, the losses are fine for now. And if they lose out, I think they still probably make the play in which is miserable. Uh, but I think this, they, because all the other teams below them are just as bad or even worse. But at this point, it's better to, you know, not feel too bad about losses anymore. You're not rooting for them, but you're also like, yeah, sure. 
Exactly. Timmy, close this up, my man. I think the season has officially broken me. I don't even care anymore. Oh, man. Like, I used to be like, oh, the pick. The pick doesn't really matter, but shit. We, uh, it's rough. Um, I, I think we're basically confirmed to get no lower than the play-in. I think that was that happened last night. Yeah, that's so, that's confirmed. That's confirmed. So, like, yeah, I am. Um, I might not even watch another regular season game for this season, to be honest. Being quiet, I'm gonna watch another game to the play in. I don't care, you know. WrestleMania is tonight, baby. <laughs> but I do think um, the Heat starts here tonight. They always play Luca and the Miles well, always, always, always. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry, I no longer care. I don't think it matters if it's a seven or eight seed. Um, I just think they need to at least make. The, I mean, I hate the first round outs. First round losses, but I think um they owe it to Jimmy to at least make the playoffs. Part of my language, guys. No, I don't curse that much over here, but I think they owe it to Jimmy to at least make the playoffs. Even though I do think Jimmy's absence early in the season might dug some of these holes. You know, Spo mentioned about he wish guys to play two injuries. I don't think I don't think anyone's blaming this season. I think Baum has fell off a cliff before the season. Hero is what? Like, Jimmy missed those games. Like, I think nobody is – I think this is an all-around horrible season. I'm happy that it's all, almost over. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. And um, and I wanted to mention this. Um, the new CBA still is from a lockout. But it's a bit spooky for us to do any type of maneuvering. Unless we trade in Larry or something, they're going to have nine players with only $6 million to play with. Um, So – Barring a trade of Larry, this is going to be the exact same team. I don't think I could survive this guy. You know? um, so, I mean, I'm happy as I mean, a you're killing me, man. Fun. Come on now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're on the go. I'm sorry, but this is what this is our reality. The Heat should lose out and get a better pick. The Heat will win tonight by one. And that's it, you know? Well, you know what? If this Heat team can get to the first, you know, get to the playoffs, and if we play Boston, even if we – Losing the second round and we knock Boston out in the first round, I'm happy. I'm happy. So I'll take I'll take that as a dub there. Uh, appreciate as everybody as everybody for watching. Appreciate Timmy, of course, Marco. You guys are joining Alejandro from running it from the back, um, taking time out of his day. He's busy, of course, all the time. And so we appreciate him as well. And every every Heat fan, obviously the season's not done yet, but every Heat fan who stuck with us throughout all these games, we appreciate you watching. Um, of course, make sure you guys go to Prize Fix, use that promo code five, and then hit up markbrownpa.com. That's M-A-R-C-BrownPA.com. We'll see you guys after the game. We'll have some post-game content. Let's go, Heat.